Hi, I'm Chef Daniel Bruce, and I'm thrilled to be with you here today for the 40th anniversary of Rambauer Vineyards and the release of the 2019 Carnero Chardonnay. Well, today I'm excited to be pairing the 2019 Rambauer Chardonnay with some great New England seafood. And the reason I'm doing it is I always taste the wine first. In this case, the wine had these wonderful flavors of uh, unripened peach, uh, sweet corn, vanilla, a little bit of butteriness, and also finish it with bright acidity. And that's really important when you pair it with seafood. So I'm looking forward to showing you this great recipe that's gonna be a knockout for this Rambauer Chardonnay. We're gonna start with the sauce. Now the sauce is so important when you're doing wine and food pairings. We're gonna start with the corn. Some people do it this way. You better actually to lay it on its side and then just pull it there and the corn doesn't go anywhere. It just sits right there. And also you don't lose any uh, corn, which is important. I'm from New England. We don't waste anything. That's very important. And we're gonna to add to that just a little bit of shallots. Nice and thin, which the shallot adds a nice sort of a counterbalance to the sweetness of that corn to the sauce. So we're gonna add a little bit of this round bower chardonnay and you can smell it. It's, it's wonderful when, the, uh, when it's burning off because you can really get all those wonderful sort of citrus and vanilla notes of the Chardonnay as it's cooking and it really mingles well with the corn. I'm just gonna add a little um, light cream. I'm gonna add just a touch to finish with salt. Just a, you can use sea salt, sea salt's great with fish. Um, it has a brininess to it that I like. That will be our base for our sauce. We're gonna take um, summer flounder. This is a New England flounder. Just a quick thing on fish. Fish should be translucent. And this one is, you can see, wonderful flavor. Um, you wanna make sure it's really fresh, that's important. So now with four simple ingredients, we're gonna make the filling for the sole that's really gonna pull out even more flavors on that uh, Carnaro Chardonnay. And we're gonna start with some scallops. These are Dayboat scallops. I have a little bit of the uh, trim from the fish that we just used, that goes in. We're gonna add a pinch of salt. And we're going to add some spinach. And we're gonna add some cream, not too much. And here we go, we have a filling, and that's how quick our filling is done. And then what you want to do is just slowly roll this around itself, and it'll roll, and it comes out beautiful, and you take the tapered end, and you drop it here, you have this beautiful looking sole. We're going to add just a touch of the Chardonnay, not too much because we love the Chardonnay and we have to drink a lot of it ourselves, uh, but this is going to be great because the wine is actually poaching this, this fish in the oven, and it's gonna just really blend the flavors of the fish in the, in the Chardonnay. And you can see this uh, sauce is absolutely beautiful now. It's ready to go. So now it looks like the sole is just about ready. You can see how beautiful these uh, sole look. And they pinwheel just beautifully, and they're so delicate, but now I built all these flavors in with the spinach and the scallops. We're gonna build this plate with a little sauce. Pour a little sauce. And then we're gonna take one piece uh, of sole, very carefully lift that up, put that right in the center. I always love uh, growing my own vegetables and herbs and uh, it really gives me a, a strong connection to, uh, to the land. And in this case, with this Rambauer Chardonnay, I'm looking for some aromatics, but some really sort of delicate flavors to enhance that, that beautiful citrus element. So these are cucumber blossoms. Should finish out that dish nicely. These are pea shoots, these are popcorn pea shoots. And the pea shoots are great because they have a wonderful sweetness, but they also have a touch of bitterness, which would be kind of nice to counter that. And I also pick some great little, just parsley, and I'm just gonna drop it in there. Uh, it adds a n nice little refreshing aspect to this dish. And then, of course, I have just a little red vein um, beet green I had. We'll drop that in there. The thing I like about this uh, dish and why it's all going to work well together, because we have a lot of parallel flavors. The parallel flavors being, of course, the corn. We have the brininess, which really works well against the citrus flavors of this wine. And that's coming from the spinach and also coming from the, the sole and the scallops themselves. The brininess is wonderful. And all together, it's like making a great wine. When you make a dish that works with wine, there's a lot of different ingredients 
subtle ingredients that make the difference. And that's why this Chardonnay is so good, and that's why this dish with the Chardonnay is gonna work so well. So cheers. Thank you.